Detailed description would be rather unpleasant, but two salient particulars must be told, for they fit in revoltingly with certain notes of Sir Wade Germain's African expeditions, and with the Congolese legends of the white entity and the ape princess. The two particulars in question are these. The arms on the golden locket about the creature's neck were Germain's arms, and the jocose suggestion of M. Verharen about certain resemblance as connected with the shriveled face applied with vivid, ghastly, and unnatural horror to none other than the sensitive Arthur Germain, great-great-great-grandson of Sir Wade Germain, and an unknown wife. Members of the Royal Anthropological Institute burned the thing and threw the locket into a well, and some of them do not admit that Arthur Germain ever existed. And... That can be the most problematic, the not admitting that people exist when you deal with um, odd claims, because that makes them so much more believable. People get convicted of some of the worst crimes because they say, oh, I never such and such, and therefore everything else that is said about them is believed because even if it's not true, because it's shown that they were lying. And, well, sometimes it wasn't that they did anything, that they, did, they weren't doing something right in the first place, but in lying it made it look so much worse. And even if you don't agree with other people's worship that they perform, don't ever steal their artifacts or deface their temples or such like that. If it ends up being yours, that can be a different story. And sometimes people hunt down and kill people because idols and other things are stolen from a house of worship. And it's, you know, respect the freedom of people to do even these sorts of things.